Welcome back, everybody. It's Paul Maglev here with Conduct This Deluxe. And we're going to take a look at our most recently uncovered uh, prototype. It is the DSB IC3, which originally showcased in... What was it? Over in Denmark in 1989. I'm not entirely sure what particular railway it was for. But if there is... If there is one thing I can tell you, is that I really don't like the sound of its horn. But we've got some extra content we can use to make our own custom levels, which we can post online. Oh, wait, I already did this one. So, let's go back over here. Are we able to unlock this one? Will this be cheaper? Must unlock a nearby region first. Okay, so we can't unlock regions that aren't literally adjacent to uh, other regions that we've already uncovered. And this looks a lot cheaper, so I guess we're gonna start with uh, these island levels, which I think are inspired by... What is it inspired by? Because I really can't tell for the life of me. I know it's exotic, but what kind of exotic is the question. But yeah, it sounds like the horn to this uh, type of uh, train is a squeaky toy. And that's always awkward. And for some reason, I'm not getting people to their uh, desired destinations. Which is not what I had in mind. But yeah, nothing much has really changed since the previous recording because I literally just uh, stopped recording the previous episode, episode one and move straight on to making the next episode because I felt like it, so deal with it. And... what else was there? Oh. Is there really anything else that I would like to mention? I really can't think of it at the moment. It'll come to me. Oh, right. What this was inspired by. It was either Southeast Asia or the Pacific Islands. And we've got three different colors to sort by. And we're going to have a bunch of trains, which will make things a little bit more complicated, but I think we should be able to manage. It's also important to know that we need to make sure that when we manage the stations, that we stop collisions, which is going to be a little difficult because it's hard to control the trains when they're in the tunnel, even though we can see them if we mouse over them. I remember this level it used to give me so much uh, trouble. Yeah, those were good times, because like I said previously, I did play this game all the way through before, and I got all the achievements and stuff, or trophies I should say, uh, in gold, of course, and that took me forever, but I tried it anyway. Now, if my memory is correct, what makes the layout of these levels really confusing is that nothing is directly going to take you straight to the station you want. No matter how hard you try, you can't go to one station without having another station in between.
But at least we're only juggling two trains simultaneously. Because the last thing I'd want to do is have to juggle three or five in a configuration like this. It's technically possible, but it's the kind of thing that just really uh, gives you a hard time. We lucked out and we're able to take the trains where we need to send them without any undesirable conflicts. There we go. And that'll do it for this one. So I'm not sure if I made this clear previously, but currently I have wrapped up my internship and I need to stop this train. Oh! And I'm not sure if you noticed, but there is a bit of lag before the crashes. I think my computer's acting up. But it's not acting up too badly because it can handle a lot. But just so long as we play safe and play smart, we should be good to go. Nope! Curse me and my dead cat reflexes. Gotta make it through. For some reason I thought that train was moving, but I obviously made a mistake. How did, I had a certain technique for this level, or at least I think I did. trying to remember what it was though because I haven't played this game since May but yeah we're going to be crashing a lot in this episode whoopee That's gonna get annoying. And so is crashing a lot too. And boom goes the dynamite. I'm just trying to keep my composure at this point. Stop! Okay, that was a little too close.
Gosh dang it. I was really hoping I wouldn't need expletives, and I certainly shouldn't need them now. But I can clearly see that, uh, selective perception is uh, working to my disadvantage in this level. Because it's hard for me to focus on all the uh, moving objects, in this case all the trains. But I also need to be punctual as well. But at least the first one gives me a free pass. Uh, the first cycle, that is. I just had a strange feeling the pet the freight train was gonna come get me, but I was wrong. It just had to be in that weird section. I think I've got it down now. I think this should do it. Yes, this was the pattern I was thinking of. There we go. And we got three stars! Excellent. I think I remember that level used to give me a hard time. But nothing like this. So all we need to do is just be extra careful. Well, so much for that. Let's see, we need to hook up the trains in a specific configuration, and I am not being careful. I'm just going to focus on one train at a time at this rate. Because that's all I can do. Apparently I can't do that! And I stopped it a little too late. Gosh dang it! Really need to make this stop. Let's see. Would I be able to make it through? I'm gonna take it the answer to that was no. So I'm just gonna have everything laid out in this configuration. And hopefully nothing goes wrong. But if I keep looping them in a certain way, uh, these trains that is, and I just mind all the crossings, we should be good to go. And then we don't have to worry about any conflicts of interest. Except that one. This is going to take me a little while. 
Come on, trains, go faster. I know you can do it. But I think we should be good now. This needs to stop. It's time to stop. I know it's a dead meme. I don't care. But hopefully this time around we actually get it right. Get it right, get it tight, and there we go. But I sincerely do not trust these trains, I mean these cars, as much as I can throw them. Or as far as I can throw them, I should say. It looks like we wrapped it up. So I think we're doing something right. Keyword being something, because I'm not entirely sure what it is. Oh, not this level. This level is the bane of my existence. Getting gold on this level is virtually impossible. Because with the number of trains you need to actually get sorted, I think there's going to be a fourth train coming out at some point, for example. However, it hasn't occurred yet. And for that I am thankful. Oh, there it is. And boom goes the dynamite. But what we need to do is just be extra careful. One thing I haven't tried though was actually just using a systematic pattern of getting all the trains through the same station in a linear fashion. Kind of like this. Prioritizing uh, the locations uh, based on the color of the train that's in front. For some reason, I don't think that's going to be very useful. There we go. Oops. Gotta remember they stop at all the stations. Gosh dang it. But whoever is able to keep track of these trains best is going to be the person who triumphs in the end when it comes to this game. But we just need to be agile and vigilant and focused. And then we should be all right.
I think that'll do it. Yeah, that's better. But now I want to change the formula around. Why was I having trouble hitting the switch on that one? Instant replay! Fail. I guess I really can't trust myself as far as I can throw myself. But maybe I'll be able to juggle three trains. Let's see what happens there. And I'll just cancel out the other fourth one. Doesn't look like I'm doing good when it comes to actually uh, making the arguments of my point. But yeah, that should do it. Oh, I was able to flip the switch then. Why couldn't I do that earlier? And it looks like I missed. We're gonna stop that train in its tracks. Because I don't feel safe having to deal with four trains simultaneously. Because that's how little trust I have in myself. But we are pretty dang close to wrapping up this level. So we won't have to deal with it again anytime soon. And then we've got our last level, Lost at Sea. Oh, right. The tracks are weird here. Need to be extra careful. Because it loops around like that. As long as I don't actually collide with anything, we should be good. I just need to remember where everything goes. And just be extra careful. Collided in the tunnel. I thought there'd be enough clearance, but I was mistaken. Maybe I should have one train stopped at all times just to play it safe. As I am vigilant and focused, we should be fine. Yeah, I think this is gonna do it. And we got all three stars, so we're good. Which means we should have the silver trophy for this one. And we get ourselves another free gift. And this one is going to be the Shinkansen 100 series. So now we don't have to worry about the annoying 
uh, horn of this train. Now we have to deal with the annoying horn of this train. Actually, come to think of it, they sound the same. It's really weird. 1985. Anyway. So what is the next location that we're going to take a look at? First we're going to actually open up this chest right here, which has more uh, content that we'll worry about later. But I haven't been keeping track of how much time this episode's been, so I'm just going to have to be careful. I think I'll wrap it up after these two, three levels. And obviously enough, there's going to be more uh, trains coming from that track over there that's just floating in space. goes again. It's too bad there's only one switch. We just need to be extra careful. And I didn't mean to send the train in that direction. But maybe it'll work out in the end. And now all the trains are red. So we just need to make sure that they all go to their destination without obstructing each other. Unfortunately, we did not actually get all three stars. But that's okay, though. But we should be able to take care of the next level. Oh my. I forget how this level works. But it looks pretty intuitive. Things are going where I think they're supposed to go. However, I think that uh, freight train is coming out of left field for me. So I'll just need to be careful about that. Yes, all we need to do is just be careful. And then everything will be fine. Yeah, I think this works. And it's pretty efficient at delivering people. I think this is like the perfect example of good level design. Because everything about it just feels natural. And it just inherently makes sense. But it still has a bit of a curveball. And got all three stars for this level. So we should be good on that. And I think the last level we're going to take a look at is the Maroons Metro. We have three switches that we're going to be in control of. And we're going to need to be extremely careful. Because there are going to be four trains in total at some point.
And where everything goes, I would say that nobody knows, but I clearly do know where it goes. What I really wish, though, was that it was a little bit easier. But hopefully you should be able to determine the pattern uh, visually from all the cues associated with the entry and exit of these trains. If not, that's totally fine. You don't need to fully understand it in order uh, for me to actually get the job done. Because you're not me. And that's okay. Not that it wouldn't be. But now we're getting thrown for a loop. Just be thankful that you don't have to deal with this. Because this is going to be confusing. And there's obviously going to be conflicting trains going in conflicting directions. Case in point. Somehow I knew that was going to happen eventually. Because it's happened so many times before. But so long as I have the tracks laid out in the way that I want them to be, we should be good to go. Flip that switch, send it on the other way. I think this works. But now I have to be careful because I know these two trains are going to collide up here. If I'm not careful. There we go. And we should be free of conflicts. Okay, maybe not. It just takes one mistake. One mistake. To just mess the whole thing up and then you have to start over again. But yeah, this should do it now. Gotta stop saying that. I'm just repeating myself. But you get the idea. Something isn't working out the way it's supposed to be, and then we fix it. Gotta be careful. Oh, stop. Okay, now I can resume. With its regular programming at its regular time. But for some reason, I feel like I really don't want to have to deal with four trains simultaneously. So I think what I'm going to do is stop that train right there because I memorized the layouts of everything in this level in order to actually be successful in it. No easy feat. I will certainly tell you that.
And it keeps sending a yellow train in the wrong direction. But hopefully this time works. I say hopefully and not with a guarantee because I don't want to jinx it. Because I've seen it all happen before. And it gets very frustrating, but... Because I enjoy the game, I just uh, put up with it. Because if there isn't a bit of a challenge, then where's the fun? You can't have the ups without the downs. Just as a safety measure, I'm going to make sure that this train and this train don't collide. So we need to stop this right there. Just about done. Just need to avoid any more conflicts. And that'll do it! So we pass the level. And that should get us silver. And with that, another free gift. In this case is the DF4, which I think is from the People's Republic, also known as China. Circa 1969. And I feel like I want to go and unlock this because I can. This is Rainbow Rail, because of the colors associated with all the stations. And I think I want to wrap up on this level instead of the other level, because... I just feel like it. But this is a heavy-duty level that can be extremely challenging if you're not careful. I take that back, it can be... Uh, difficult even if you are careful. One thing that helps me out is that I always follow auditory cues for the music because that's usually when a train is going to be coming in. And you kind of memorize that after you play the game long enough. How many hours on record do I currently have? That is a curious question. And why did I think that was going to uh, not collide. But we should be able to get through this uh, quickly. If you're wondering why the music's different from the other levels, it's because this is one of those critical levels that's essential to unlocking one of the main levels that uh, I'll be able to explain in better detail later. And I have the suspicion that that freight train's coming. Or at least I did when I started making that statement. I didn't mean to do that, but that happened anyway, so, oh well.
We got 10 seconds on the clock. So close. We almost ran out of time. But we did make it. We do have a bronze, though. But we do get something completely different. Which is the TGV Sud East. Which we can also add to our collection of trains. Let's see, circa 1981. So yeah, I think that's more than enough for this episode. So I will see you all in the next one. Until then, take care, stay awesome, stay true to yourself, and remember to never give up. Bye, everybody.